Good evening. A black country lorry driver says he's facing financial ruin after being fined for having illegal migrants in the back of his truck. Dave Edmonds says the £12,000 penalty is unfair as he'd taken precautions and alerted the authorities in Calais himself. Here's our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner. Yeah, they'll they go anywhere. Yeah. They'll sit on the axles and everything. Paul here, Dave Edmonds, showing me how he checks his lorry for migrants on trips through mainland Europe. They have been now to, to lie on top of the roof as well. These scenes are typical of some French ports. Migrants here have broken into a lorry, and there are plenty of others around the ports desperate to get across the channel. Much of the media coverage has homed in on the port of Calais, where migrants have been stopping lorries entering the port in an attempt to get into their vehicles. But Dave's situation appears to be different. The migrants there entered his vehicle while he was asleep in his cab, parked up more than two and a half hours from the port. What they've done, they cut the loops, top and bottom. With help from an accomplice, 20 oh, no. migrants got inside his oh, no. truck. As this photograph shows, the padlock and seal remained intact, meaning that Dave was unaware they'd got in. That was until he got to Calais. After about five minutes, five, ten minutes, sitting there, I thought the cab shaking. I thought, I thought it was the traffic going past at first. It happened again, happened again. I thought, oh no, I've got big on here. So I get out. There's a dog angler walking around, calls him over. I so said, I think I've got immigrants on here. So his dog has a stiff, starts going mad. It's now more than two years after it happened, and even though, like many others, the migrants were caught before getting into the UK, Dave now faces a £12,000 fine. Well, I alerted them that that was in the trailer. So I'm doing their job for them, really, I know. It will put me out of business. I just can't pay it, I can't afford to pay it. In a statement, the UK Border Force said fines are only imposed when a driver or a company fails to have an effective system to protect their vehicles. It added that anyone issued with a fine has the chance to lodge an objection. Since the incident, Dave Edmonds has stopped crossing the channel and now only operates inside the UK. He's now hoping that his objection will be successful. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today. 200 jobs could go at the Cheltenham headquarters of the fashion chain Superdry. The company